So I first met Ed at St. Mary's General Hospital on the chest unit. He'd been admitted with some pretty serious complications from his severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. I get to be a little older, you gotta see a doctor. So he's the one that said that there's something wrong and then he started talking about COPD and he put me on some medication for it, but I guess it wasn't enough. I ended up here. Once he came up to the floor and had some of that initial settling, uh, that's when I met him and introduced the idea of him going home with under the ICC program. So my role as an ICC coordinator is truly to be a navigator of the healthcare system. So to help patients and their families know who to call at what time for the care that they need. Originally assisting patients in their transition from hospital to home by arranging home visits with an interdisciplinary healthcare team really tailors the assessments and education to the patient once they're home. I didn't know that they were going to help as much as they did but no, they kept coming in, answering all my problems, and everything's taken care of now. So the ICC program is different from our current home care system in that the entire team has access electronically to the patient's record. This results in real-time communication and real-time problem solving. My wife found it quite helpful having people come into the house because things that she didn't know they would explain to her and me at the same time. And then if one would forget, the other one always remembers. So I would say as a registered nurse working with the ICC program, it's extremely rewarding to not only work in a fuller scope of practice when you're looking at the home care environment, but just knowing that you're providing that ongoing tailored support to patients so that they aren't lost in the system. The ICC coordinators at St. Mary's General Hospital are available by phone to patients 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for up to 60 days after their hospital discharge. So they call with any questions or concerns. Um, we can certainly liaise with their family doctor, uh, which is helpful for patients if they're having difficulties. As all security guards, we have to uh, take care of people. If there's anybody in need, you help them out in any way, shape, or form that you can. And that is more or less what everybody here has done for me. Mind you, I hope you never have to go through this. But in case you do, don't worry, they're there to help you out. I think ICC is really a, a game changer in healthcare in, in 2016. One of the things that that is great about it is that it helps patients leave hospitals sooner, so patients are always anxious to do that. Patients come back less often, in many cases uh, half as often as they might otherwise come back. Patients love it, and ultimately it costs less. So programs like ICC really are the future for healthcare, not only in Canada, but uh, I believe certainly in the United States too. They're looking at bund funding models just as Canada and Ontario is, and uh, there's been a, a lot of success with the bundled funding models and so I would expect to see ICC-like models really rolling right across the country.